Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. I'm doing another quick read. Um, Spirit guided me to. Um, obviously they have stuff to discuss. Um, so I'll try to do a quick read here. We are uh, Tuesday evening, late evening, October 8th. We'll call it Wednesday, October 9th, just to be on the safe side by the time it uploads and stuff like that. So thank you for being here. Thank you for your patience for me today. The energies are a little wonky, so... We gotta do what we gotta do. Work through it, right? So keep optimistic. Or I'm staying optimistic. Take it for whatever it is. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I'm truly grateful. I have uh, posted and extended for the last read. Hopefully you enjoy it. It's energies that are all over the place. I think so many people right now are going through karma that is, and they're projecting. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even in my comment section. So it's just like, yeah. <laughs> If you want to laugh, go ahead, go ahead and look at some of these people's in the comments, okay? Like, um, I can't help the fact that I live in North America, and I speak about fall, or, or, or justice system being the feds, whatever, and somebody's offended that I'm not speaking more widely because they live in, South, or in Africa, in the southern tip of Africa. Well, I'm sorry, okay? It's, you know, if you want to be that picky, you can move elsewhere, watch African readers, I don't know. Okay, uh, it's no slight on my part, no offense to anybody, I don't mean any offense, but if you can't see through that, then you know, like, and then you expect me to, to modify what I do, that's just ridiculous, okay, can't please everybody all the time, so, you know, anyways, I haven't blocked you, if you still have a problem with it, then you can go, okay, no harm, no foul, thanks for the laugh, it was quite, quite laughable, anyhow, just uh, I get that straight. If you live in the southern hemisphere, I mean, I'm experiencing fall right now. What do you want me to talk about? Your summers? Come on. It's a figure of speech. We're going through fall. It's cold outside. Blah, blah, blah. Well, you won't, what do you want me to say? It's just ridiculous. You know, you can't please them all, right? You're just looking for nitpicking. Nitpicking. Why? Why? Am I saying something that you don't like? Am I telling on you? You know, you just want to get a rise out of me? It's not going to happen. It's just ridiculous. So, you know, you're an adult. You're supposed to be an adult. It's 18 over here. You know, you can't be a child watching this stuff. Please. Unbelievable. Do you listen to American music? Do you listen to watch American movies? Are you going to ask them to change it all for you? Eh? Are, they, are you the center of the universe? I don't think so. <laughs> You might think so, but you're not. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you for being here, everyone. I just thought I'd have to put that out. It's just some people are just, you know, if you're that miserable in life, then do something about it. Don't take it out on others. Let's see what Spirit wants to talk about. Spirit guides, guardian angels, thank you. That was quick. Change. Change the way you do things for me. <laughs> so we're tapping into your energy, so congratulations, okay? Overarching energy. That's what happens in tarot. Especially when you're an intuitive. Yeah. Yes or no, I'm the puppet master. Yeah. Look, who, look who's under there. Hmm? Somebody's in their devil energy. It's a group of people, right? Trying to pull strings. Trying to make me dance like a puppet. Dance monkey dance. I don't think so. Underlying energy. Oh, I got a rise out of them. <laughs> it's a tribe of people. Uh, martyr yourself. Do for me. Do for everybody. Dance monkey dance. <laughs> oh, they're haunted. They're trying to summon things. I think they're haunted by whatever they summoned. Mm. Good for you. You doing a little bit of magic down there? Huh? Have you been sending any of my way? Ain't gonna work. It's gonna stay with you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm at peace. <laughs> Bonehead. Somebody's going to get some time. Mm, spinning yards. Oh, well. Something to do with their home. Where do you live? Where do you live? Well, I don't live where you live. Okay? Remain objective. Sorry, folks. Some of these people just take the cake. So we have change. Oh no, they won't change for me. I can't make them dance. 
justice. So somebody's getting some justice. Mm. Somebody's gonna be wearing some silver bracelets very soon, or they have been, or they already are. Bottom of the deck. Trapped. Mm. Somebody's gotta pull some strings for me. Get me out of here. Uh, something's falling apart. They want something buried and kept there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm I'm telling on them. I don't know. Telling them where the bodies are buried. You know what I'm saying? Not literally, or maybe literally. I don't know. Maybe it's voodoo dolls. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They want to keep you buried. Somebody's dating something. Organized crime. Involved with organized crime. So there's a meeting here. Beach. I don't know. A motel. A house on the beach. In a motel on the beach. Somebody's on the inside here. Somebody's foreign. This is foreign. Or it could be actual aliens. I don't know. But I'll take it as foreign. Foreign fraud. Fire sign. Or somebody's getting burnt. I don't know. Getting hot in here. Doing fire magic. Good for you. Abracadabra. <laughs> Abra, abracadabra. I'm gonna reach out and grab you. Change justice. Where are we going with this place? Almost. It's time to move on. Yeah, I'd say. Where are we going with this place, Grant? We don't know when to quit. Okay, bad timing. Dance. Oh no, oh no, oh no. 444, four, four, because somebody's completely surrounded by angels and protected by angels and they're stable. Their, found, uh, their foundation is secure. You'll be attending a get together soon. Drop the weight. Okay, and the weight is debt here. Somebody wants to drop this debt. They're in debt to the devil. They're trying to put you in debt. This is fraud, obviously, some sort of fraud. Right? They have done this before and they will continue to do so independently, owned and operated. You are, obviously, or they, they're trying to pass themselves off as um, Aquarius. You are them, or something's happened in Aquarius season. Replace your fear with faith. News of legalities. Emotional outburst ahead. Hit and run. Could happen. This could apply to all kinds of things. Somebody did something too quickly. There could have been an actual hit and run. They were planning this on for you. Or they hit it and quit it type of thing. A younger man. Wedding vows. Stiff competition. 911. There's an emergency. September 11th or 11th of November. Either or. or there's heavy duty red flags. This is the, the authorities, the feds, or whatever you call it from where, wherever you hail, are in on it. Okay, not in on it, but they're quite aware it could be a bust or a raid. Cancer, something happened. Cancer season, you're a cancer, they're a cancer. Yeah, going sideways, right? They, they walk sideways. Pay attention to your dreams and your prayers have been heard. Congratulations, because they're coming into karma. Caution. So it's a crime of some sort, okay? They're being blocked. They've been, they've been um, maybe advised by their own circle or someone else and or spirit of the divine caution proceed with caution and they don't want to that's their dumb look yeah it's not my problem it's theirs <clears throat> people want to play so play go ahead and play it's none of my business just don't bring it into my world because then I'll pick up on your energy change injustice and bad timing where are we going with this place? That's why it's laughable. You guys make me laugh. There's going to be an apology now. <laughs> Guilt, confession, forgiveness. Somebody's conf uh, confessing here. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, merit making, goodness, humanist morality. Somebody has morale, morale, morals. Sorry. They're on their knees praying. Maybe this is you. You, you, you know, you're, you're up with your prayers. You keep up with your prayers. You do what's right, even if it's not right for you. Um, behind closed doors, you have integrity. It, it, integrity is what you do behind closed doors. A lot of people don't have it, okay? So readiness, get ready, set, go. Okay, preparation, prompt, and arrangement. 44, the angels are ready to go. Want to play? Let's play. <laughs> yep, a reader. You're watching tarot. You could be... This could have something to do with the reader and, and prophecy and intuition, coincidence, fatalism, fortune telling. Yeah, destiny. Somebody's trying to trap somebody or they're trapped. You're feeling stuck. I don't know. Victim, allure, and trick. 
Yeah, stubbornness. They didn't want to listen to advice. So here you go. Seven, seven. They might have something to do with it. Mm. So we have selfless, selfness, mullish attitude, and arrogance. Somebody's very arrogant. Didn't think anything bad was going to happen to me. I'll get away with this. Don't worry. There's lots of evidence here. Or you're pointing people towards evidence. Five, five has changed. Detection, investigation, and proof. Someone's being investigated. And they're furious. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, these are pleasure seekers, right? A bunch of people, covens, cults, secret societies. Yeah, having fun, right? Wanting to cause an accident. Or they're going to have an accident. Or they have. This is a tower. Oh, sorry. No, they're getting sick. They wanted to do something wrong to you, and it's back on them. Some, something's going to happen swiftly, quickly. Uh, it's meant to redirect. Okay, this is the universe in charge. So they could have wanted, they laughed at your pain or wanted, they were laughing at the the accidents they were trying to drum up in your life. And it's happened back, it's right on to them, one after the other. Danger, caution, injury. Again, caution. They've been warned. They can't say it's an accident. It's a pattern if they keep doing it over and again. Okay? It is not an accident. Now they're pat they're bound. They're bound. They got a lot of, they're tied to a lot of different things. They don't like it. They can't get out of it. Binding, obstruction, and contract. They could have been obstruction, ob obstructing justice or trying to obstruct you or a contract. Yeah. It is what it is. They can't get out of this. They're, they're, they're gummed in real good. You know what I'm saying? So, change, justice, bad timing, and apology. So if they come towards you with an apology, it's bad timing. They know they're in trouble. There is not going to be an apology. Is not going to turn this around. Okay, whatever this is. If they're just coming towards you and fussing up now towards you or the police or anything, the feds, whatever you call it, from wherever you hail, um, it's only because they got caught. They're not feeling sorry for what they've done to you. Oh, no, no, they're not. They're feeling bad because they got caught. Yeah, they got caught. I can't make this up. They have to tell the truth here. They have to fess up. That's the overarching energy. I'm going to leave that there. Yeah, they weren't. They didn't foresee something. Their plan's falling through. They didn't want to let go. It didn't serve. There is no future, okay? They, they have no way out. I just heard. Damn. Truth. Bottom of the deck is true. <laughs> truth is coming out. Yeah, they're going to jail. They are stuck. They're stuck. They're, they're, they're. Trapped, self-imposed restrictions, truth and clarity in their head. Uh, something's coming out, okay, to the forefront. This is our Archangel Michael's sword. It's cutting through all of the confusion and minutia. Uh, all aces in the upright are gifts from the divine. This is in the beginning. This is a breakthrough for you. They've been blocked. They're trying to block communication from from the Queen of Wands or Queen of Pentacles energy. Block your stability. Good for them. They didn't want you growing. Good for you. Having, uh, you know, expansion or growth in your life. No passion opportunities. No, They don't want you taking action. And so they're all talk, no action. Oh, I get it. They're all talk, no action. They're facing jail, possibly. Yeah. Six, yeah, this is fraud. Six of Pentacles in reverse. It wasn't fair. Not equally yoked. It was unbalanced. They're having financial difficulties. Maybe, um bankruptcy or they try to bankrupt you they wanted you really unstable they breadcrumbed you used abused you and they treated you poorly not very um these people whoever this is was they weren't very gracious or um generous of spirit let's put it that way this is fraud <laughs> confirmation this is fraud and theft they're unstable they want to come with an apology towards a divine feminine energy your innocence maybe they're trying to make you look guilty of something you're not and where this is a mother and child um they're paying you some compliments here small gifts showing their their respect or esteem um it's a little too little a little too late <laughs> again i just heard did i stutter okay somebody's innocent they want to apologize. Apologize. There's a fish in the cup. Okay. They wanted you too unstable to start, and so you don't start a new beginning. And somebody's lied. They're gonna apologize for being being spiteful and hateful. Maybe somebody's angry. Uh, they lied. They were jealous. They were vindictive. Okay. Somebody's angry. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Male or female does not matter. 
Yeah, spreading gossip. Somebody's angry that there's a parting of ways, um, ending it with a third party situation possibly, or this is something to do with a group, a covenant, a cult, a secret society. There will be no reconciling this. Parting away is not happy. Not going their way. Okay, this is no communication. Bad news. Somebody lied. They threw rocks and hit hands. Um, they felt entitled. Okay. They can't celebrate this anymore. This is bad news. Why aren't you celebrating? Why aren't you still laughing? Come on, I want you to. Keep doing that. You know? So heartless and cruel. Let's celebrate your demise now. Let's celebrate your arrest. Okay, let's celebrate you losing everything because of the your lies and your and your fraudulent behavior. Let's celebrate that. Right? They're infant, they're very infantile. They feel entitled. They're a lot of drama starters, okay? I just heard wham. <laughs> wow. Yeah, somebody's angry. They bit off more than they can chew. Somebody lost authority, had no authority. This is somebody with no morals, ethics, or honor. It's all about power and control and their ego, um, their image, you know. They're very arrogant, controlling. Poser or player. A coward. Yeah, they intercepted your money or your mail, maybe online. Or they didn't pay you what they should have. Somebody's unfaithful. You can't trust them. They're immature and very, very irresponsible. Can't come correct. Um, something stopped. They're not happy. They're unfaithful. Maybe they were player energy. Knight of Cups or Knight of Wands. We need that. Or they have to take some sort of action here. They didn't make a payment. It could be blackmail as well. Somebody's being blackmailed. Yeah, they're not coming up with an offer. Somebody's angry. They could have lost their position. I don't know. It has empty victory. Willing to do whatever it takes to win, right? A lot of people are taking on losses. Somebody was very jealous of you. They abused you. They were petty and they were cruel. It's a defeat, though. People are walking away accruing losses or dejected or, you know, yeah, as a scam, scam artist. Doing magic, scam, love bomber. They, they chase it till they get what they want. You're their best friend. You're their love of their life. I love you unconditionally until they get what they want and then they're gone. No follow through with promises. They're, they're willing to do whatever it takes. Maybe somehow, somewhere in your business or in life, they don't want anybody supporting you. They don't want you having love or any kind of offers or friendship. Any kind of support. Yeah, this could be spell work as well. Okay, there's a lot of lies, illusions, and trickery. Much is hidden. Nothing is as it seems. It could be a warlock you're dealing with or divorce, separation. They broke the law, crooked judge or leader. Somebody's in fear. They're, they're sick. They're not happy. Okay, they don't want this getting out. No redemption. Yeah, they kept repeating a bad pattern of behavior. They didn't want it to end. They didn't want to learn a lesson. The lessons haven't integrated. Their world is upside down right now. They're not the center of the universe, as I stated. And now they're worried. They can't eat or sleep. They're anxious. They're very burdened. Having nightmares, maybe. Could be up to nine people involved, or they've done something nine times. Yep, online, something's ending. Ending a cycle to begin a new one, okay? Somebody's protected. They could be traveling or moving. You or them. This is victory, by the way. Something's coming out in, in the limelight. You're protected within this laurel wreath, okay? Sealed top and bottom, and you're being watched over on every side. You have victory batons and or reversal candles. Um, it is what it is, okay? And they're watching you. Somebody's watching you. Spying, delayed communication from afar. They could be under surveillance or investigation. Somebody got curious here. Somebody gave out false information. Unrequited love. If it was a love bomber, they that got sent towards you to destabilize you, or somebody lost their children. If you're in a custody case, some sort of case with children, somebody shouldn't be around. It could be online with children. Something's over. You're, you're outing them. I don't know. I guess you're not the center of the inner center, are you? <laughs> World is upside down. It could be on the dark web, okay? Doing magic. 
Yeah, gathering some information. Uh, too many. Watching tarot, maybe. So let's, let's see where we're going. Yeah, ending a third party situation or a collaboration. Something's not working. They don't want you creating. Uh, somebody's lazy, don't want to put the work in, and very disrespectful. They don't want other people cooperating with you. They don't want you getting any help. Yeah, because you let them go, maybe. Or they're insecure and unstable. They want you that way, insecure and unstable. They can't hold on to this any longer. This group could be getting rid of this person. A partnership, a relationship, family, friend. There's some sort of union here or partnership. They're getting let go. Getting tasked up. Okay? Yeah, they're scared. They can't protect themselves. You've been humbled. Lost control. They can't control this. Somebody has no integrity at all to your honesty. Or they may be trying to intimidate you. They're trying to shut you up. So she's trying to close this lion's mouth. Yeah, you're innocent. You took a leap of faith. You're having you have a new beginning. Something exciting is going to be happening. Or they're scared they're going to look like a fool. Not everybody's going to know that they're a fool. They should have been loyal. You know, this tower moment. Mm -mm -mm. So they could have accused you of all kinds of things. And they know that you're innocent. This is going to give you, propel you into a new beginning, I think. Might be on the news. You might get some, some notice here and there. It might help you in terms of jobs, in terms of your, your integrity. You're a very trustful person, honest person. Maybe people see that. They admire that. And they want you to work for them in one way or another. But they're getting tossed out of something here, okay? False foundations, giving off the false impressions. You're innocent. Somebody wants, it could be your family, somebody from your past. They're going through uh, memory lane, right? Nostalgic memories. Somebody wants to give you your flowers now because you are wish fulfillment or you're coming into your wish fulfillment. Or this is explosive for your family, somebody in your past, family or a group. You healed yourself. This is a blessing in disguise. You're going towards wish fulfillment. Maybe you're finding your tribe, right? Your soul tribe. It's a blessing in disguise. Somebody could have had a heart attack here or some sort of health issue, heart issue. Something's not working. They don't want you working. They're you know, abusing you emotionally, mentally, psychologically. Somebody's not a master of their craft. Uh, it's too much like work to put the work in, right? 8-8. Eight, eight. Somebody's refusing to move on from this. Uh, they're acting like they're happy, but they're not. Um, somebody has to cut their losses. Or they want to come back. They, they're, they're, they maybe lost their job. Something didn't work. They have to come back here. They think they could still seize an opportunity with you that was uh, missed or ignored in the past. But they were ungrateful and they took advantage of you. So they know they can't come back. Whatever they're trying to do, it's not going to work. Obviously, this is an investment. So they're going to have to return an investment. They could be involved in some sort of counterfeiting. Uh, reproducing of documents, forge it's an, it's an inheritance, spiritual or otherwise, life insurance, uh, pensions, the family, this is a corporation, long-term stability and relations. It's the tree of life here, okay? Uh, the Ten of Pentacles are set up as the tree of life. So it has something to do with your family. Somebody did something too quickly, impulsively. They have to take some sort of action. They wanted a life of luxury off your back. Or they tried to prove or, you know, Trump up charges saying that you're unstable. This is a financial crime, whatever this is. They're unstable and insecure. They wanted to keep you unstable and insecure. They wanted to affect your stability, you know, your, your confidence level. Somebody's very immature, though. They're not, co they're not independent. They're codependent. Financial crime. It's in the reverse, I think. Well, I'll put it back in. 10, 10. We'll see if it's meant to come back, uh, come out well again. Where's the Ten of Pentacles here, please? Do you have to return this investment? Yes, it's financial crime. This family wanted you just to appear unstable. They were living a life of luxury off your back if it has anything to do with any kind of a large amount of money. This is a legacy, by the way, okay? Given to you by your ancestors or somebody from your past, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, whatever, or a partner. Yeah, there's a judgment call here. So somebody's under judgment, divine judgment. They have to take accountability. You knew all along. 
You made the right decisions. This is a wake-up call for somebody, okay? Uh, decisions been rendered. They're, they're in their emotions. Uh, this is self-love as well. Again, a gift from the divine. This is wish fulfillment. You have peace here, okay? It's a lot of self-love. You're out in the public eye. You don't have to be, or this is going to be going out publicly, going to be seen publicly. It's victory, success, reward, recognition. They wanted the public to see you as this, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, male or female, unstable, greedy, selfish, materialistic, unfaithful, not to be trusted, not knowing your value and your worth. Um, somebody might have said something on public record as well, okay? It's a huge cover-up, obviously. The, the green horse blanket is way too big for this horse. They were doing stuff, and they were getting attention for it, but I think time is up, okay? They could have said you had an STD on public record or publicly, that you were a whore or they're trying to block this magic. Somebody's angry. And they were dealing with a whore. They're a whore. They were doing magic, obviously. They're angry and they're hateful. They're spiteful. They use sex to get their way. They got a lot of burdens here. Or they're trying to put burdens on your back. Uh, they committed themselves to these lies. This slander about you, right? This defamation. And they're buckling beneath the weight of it, right? Because you know your, your value and your worth. And people see it, okay? Somebody's ungrateful. They took advantage of the situation. It's a bad investment. It's going to cost them. And they're looking at this. Oh, shit, I'm going to lose everything. Yeah. They stole everything. They didn't want anybody investing in you. You're certainly not going to invest in them. They relied. They were dealing with hoes, or they were. They were relying on a hose. He's lying, uh, leaning on a hoe here. Um, they were waiting for this investment to mature, possibly, if they put it in offshore accounts. Or, or they couldn't touch it just yet for some reason. You know what I mean? If it's an inheritance or something like that. They're not going to get it. Misappropriation of funds. Dereliction of duty. There's nowhere to go here, okay? This is over. It's end of the line. You get what you give. They spent a lot of money, lost a lot of money, or they will be, and they have to relocate because secrets are not coming out. How much is it going to cost to shut this high priest or high priestess up? They spent a lot of money on magic, maybe, or on paying people to say shit about you. Oh, this is unwise counsel. Whatever this is, it's not wish fulfillment. They could have said you were sick. They didn't want you having wish fulfillment. They don't want you to be seen. This could be a dark high priest or priestess, okay? doing magic oh, they're sick they're feeling ashamed of themselves it's not wish fulfillment they gave false uh they bore false witness okay they could have perjured themselves this was a huge gamble they lost they didn't do their homework or if they're screwing around with magic and or with fraud they don't know anything about it there's somebody's imbecile uh, imbecile very immature this is bad financial news they're in debt or they tried to place you in debt but it went back on to them took a huge gamble and lost okay no new beginnings no practical approach they can't pay this back or they wanted you so much in debt that you couldn't pay it back. And you wouldn't realize your wish fulfillment or get on your north node. This is bad financial news for somebody. Could, somebody could have lost a, a child. They were reckless. This could be a raid. Okay. They're not forthcoming with some communication or payments. Somebody's angry. Somebody's going to get raided. Could be a drive-by they were planning. Or a hit and run. Somebody's a narcissist, a sociopath, or psychopath. Uh, they're cold, calculating, and cruel. They abuse and, and they abuse people. They use and abuse. Okay, could be dangerous. Potentially, be careful. Um, this is somebody without authority. They lost authority. Jealous. Where are we going with this script? Yep, I'm trying to block you. Now they're blocked. There's sudden uh, arrival, sudden departure. They, they don't know what to do. There's no contingency contingency plan. They didn't plan this part out, right? Blocking emotions, blocking um, intuition. Someone was really ruthless. They're in their emotions right now. Oh, yeah. They're crying here. Okay. Male or female, don't get the genders mixed up. Place yourself where you fit. And if you don't fit, don't don't try to, you know, squeeze yourself into this storyline, okay? Just be glad it's not your story. It doesn't sound too good. This is reckless. The endangered others. This is, yeah, crime, abuse, corruption, abuse of power, abuse of authority. Somebody lost their authority. They didn't have authority. This is a bully. Um, somebody with a huge ego, lots of pride, arrogant. They just want power and control. But by being this way, they gave their power away because they're so hung gung, gung ho and hung up on how people perceive them, how their what their image is, type of thing. It's a bully. They could have really abused their power and their authority. Bending to public pressure. It's a tyrant of sorts. 
Somebody's blocked. They don't know what to do. They were holding back. They're angry. They felt entitled. They're confrontational and argumentative. And you might be p putting these people in their place. There might be some sort of um, impersonate, impersonating going on here. Doppelganger and or forgery. Somebody's angry. Yeah. They stole a home. They sold a home from underneath somebody. This is the end of somebody's stability, business, marriage, or the party's over. Somebody's unstable. They were holding back as long as they could to try to make you look unstable, to make you homeless. So they're, you know, whatever they were plotting and planning falls into place. I don't know. Yeah, death. So they can unalive you out on the streets. It's easier to do that outside your home, right? Especially if you're vulnerable out on the streets. Nobody, well, you know, so-and-so is homeless. They're addicted. They're this, that, and the other thing. They're just, you know, out there with, out in the gutter. Um, so when you go missing, it's not a big deal. Well, they've been homeless. They're dead, you know, they... I don't know. So this has changed. You overcame whatever this was. Yeah, they wanted to unalive uh, divine feminine energy, but you had conscious awareness here. You're going to be taking some action where the cops are. The contract of some sort, a decision has been rendered. A third party is being in, 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 uh, a third party got involved here. This is free will. Somebody did this out, out of their free will. This is a betrayal. It's a harsh and painful end for you. Somebody's a karmic. They're emotionally manipulative. They blackmail emotionally. They don't care who they hurt. They're superficial, shallow, and selfish. Very karmic. He could be drinking right now and in their feelings, contemplating, praying, strategizing. They've been sitting on the truth for a long time. They're heartbroken. They made accusations about you. They can't back up. They're unfounded. They're feeling overwhelmed and de defeated. If there's spell work involved or being un they're under spiritual attack or they tried to do this to you or physical attack, you're at peace, which burns their ass, I guess. Chase the hole right through their ass. You're at peace. Yeah, you've detached here. You're not karmic. You're not toxic. You're stable and secure. You're working on your pentacles. You see exactly what they're doing. you got to let go of this. You know, you're worth and value. They didn't foresee this. They lost the gift of sight. They can't move forward anymore. It's a lot of gaslighting, game, mind playing, you know, game playing, um, poking the bear, reactive abuse. You took the high road, you walked away. Now they're in their feelings. We have uh, counterparts here, possibly. Yeah, they're gold diggers and cloud chasers. This is change. This is destiny. They wanted to take your destiny. Nah, you don't trust them. So people are part, uh, this whole group or group of people or whomever is involved, parting away, there's lack of trust. They're very karmic. They could have started this, you know, with a partner or they're losing a partner or love or a family member. I don't know. It's amazing what money will do, right? And greed and jealousy and spell work. So change. There's change being had, but, you know, if somebody wants to make you dance, monkey dance, you ain't going to do it. So somebody was pulling some strings here, trying to make you dance. It's a puppet show. It's all theater. Remember that. The devil's involved right there. Justice. You're getting your justice. Congratulations. Somebody's feeling trapped, or they will be. It's bad timing. Are they trying to trap you? It's bad timing. They're under surveillance. 444, the angels are protecting you. You have a firm foundation. Congratulations. They want to apologize now. Oh, dear. Why? Why now? Okay. They're, they're going to make you promises here. I'm a good person. I swear I am. I just can't count up. But you have a lot of morals and dignity and integrity. Okay. You're a good person. They're trying to convince other people they're a good person. I, mm. Um, I'm not going to say anymore. Um, yeah, this could be for anybody, by the way. Any, uh, what deck do you want me to use, Spirit? Really? Okay. We won't use the, we'll use these today. I don't feel like reading. Thank you, Spirit. So, how, where are we going with this? Reading for the collective, please. Is this an actual arrest? They're in jail. Bad timing. person of fire you or them Aries Leo Sag the trendsetter leader confident visionary catalyst energetic entrepreneur sexy outgoing creative ruthless courageous strong-willed teacher actress entrepreneur artist or PR industry okay public relations oh, they're just a plain prick I don't know Take it forever it is 
Um, Taurus, we got this in last read. Tandem bicycle two. Synchronized alliance, duo, partnership, unison, equality, collaboration, togetherness, simpatico, aligned, hookup, cooperation, harmony, help, join, consensus, two of a kind. And winter, which is coming up soon. Four, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, the crone within nine to twelve months. Might be partnering up. Are they? This is somebody that's partnered up with a crone? I don't know. Now, a crone doesn't have to be extremely old or crone-ish. It could be a very mature woman or fem feminine energy. This could be um, a male and his mother. It doesn't have to be. It could be anybody. Ballet shoes. Somebody's dancing circles around another Sagittarius 9. Stamina, endurance, talent, repetition, effort required on your toes, honing a skill, laser focus, poison grace, tread lightly, balancing act, pursuit of arts, and expertise. This could be you or them. Again, you know your story. 9-9, nine, nine, by the way. It's coming to an end here, okay? You're near, nearly at your reset. Virgo, fishing pole, self-reliance, extend oneself, autonomy, mentoring others, poetry in motion, exploration, providing, connect with nature, accomplishment, reflection, self-improvement, and capable. Congratulations. Something, I don't know, maybe 1999 uh, rings a bell with you. This keeps coming up, too. Repairmen. This is Libra. We're in Libra season six. Balance, justice, repair, fine tune, heal, fix. Many working parts. Reset. I told you, resets here. Proceed carefully. Needs fixing. Make adjustments. Recover. Skilled. Make things right. Mend. Restore and upgrade it. So somebody's trying to fix what they broke. Time is up though. Obviously, it's a timepiece. Um. There's a lot of working parts. A lot of working. A lot of people involved here. Headache. Someone's experiencing poor health, Virgo 5, poor health, dis-ease, dis illness, unpleasant crises, emergency, body signal, needing self-care, uh, problem, root cause, annoying, disagreeable, something's off, pain, and underlying conditions. And you could be a person of earth or you're dealing with them, okay, as a provider or caregiver. So if it has anything to do with the last week, we were talking about a, a black widow, grounded, secure, stubborn, nurturing, Classy, stable, prosperous, materialistic, uh, possessive, dependable, manager, business owner, banking, CEO. Take it for whatever that is. There's fraud involved, so this could be some of the people involved. This could be you. You're in this industry, these industries. Maybe not. It doesn't have to be. Take it for whatever that is, and then we'll close with these. And I'm, I'll, I'll bid you good night. <laughs> Hopefully you have a great evening, okay? Stay safe, you guys down in Florida. I don't know what's going on. I haven't been listening to the news. Hopefully, um, it's 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 lessened the, the hurricane. Should I be talking about that though? I mean, I'm, it's not worldwide. Jeez. Casket. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Now they could be actually leaving this realm, and or they wanted you to leave this realm. Okay. Take it for whatever that is. Jerky. Someone's behaving stupidly. Of course. Now, our Thanksgiving is coming next weekend, so maybe it's going to happen by ca turkey time, I don't know. So, jug, lighthearted, carefree time. So, we could be drinking, like I said, lobster, financial pinch. Heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Are they going to claim they love you now that they're in a financial pinch? Or they wanted you in a financial pinch so they can you'd come back and claim your love to them so you'd kiss their ass? I don't know. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Okay? Keep going. Be careful, though. Dagger, fear, worries, tense situation. You're climbing the ladder. Somebody was trying to climb the ladder off of your back, climbing towards success. Maybe somebody's, maybe you climb a ladder. You're going to be climbing a ladder, an actual ladder. Be careful who's around. Okay? It could be an accident. You're planning an accident. Grapes, time to go out and have some fun. Could also be sour grapes as well. Somebody's drinking wine, a wino. I don't know. Plucking the, the low hanging fruit, broom, new home, new attitude. And throne, position of authority. Beware of self delusion. So, somebody in a position of, uh, of, of authority was in on whatever this is, defrauding you, and made, made a life out of defrauding you and others, possibly. Um, they had a position of authority where they got away with it thus far. Until now, until you, right? 
You get a congratulations. You're coming into your horn of plenty and cornucopia, recognition, reward for merit. So you, yeah, shrewdness and resourcefulness, and especially business ego, is triumph over troubles and obstacles. They try to place obstacles in your way. You triumph, and because of the way you handled this, and you kept your calm and cool, and you listened to spirit, you didn't lash out like that. They wanted you to lash out. They wanted you to sound crazy. They were goading you, poking you. Like I said in the beginning of this reading, you know. Stupid things, you know, you didn't go that way. Um, it's not working out the way they did. It's, it's a year for karma, okay? So congratulations. I hope this sits well with you. I hope this is your read. So, you know, a lot of you can move forward beyond this. I know it's a long road, okay? Me included, I'm in the same boat. I love you guys so very much. And until next time, take care and stay safe.